Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my second update for the Partners in Cream Project Pan. This is a collaborative project pan where we're focusing on our cream and liquid products from our collection. No powders allowed in this project pan. It's basically just anything that's in a cream or liquid form, and that is because those are the types of items that do tend to go bad a little bit faster, and they're honestly sometimes a bit more challenging to get use out of as well. So this project was created by the amazing duo that is Steph and Dalin. I will leave both of their channels linked down in the description box. I highly recommend you check them both out if you haven't yet already. You will love both of them. They're amazing creators, project panners, and just like very inspiring when it comes to shopping your stash and just getting use out of what you already own and really just being more mindful about what you bring into your collection. They're both amazing creators. I highly recommend them both. And this project will be going on until the 10th of December of this year. We started in the 10th on the 10th of January and there is an option for a quarterly refresh and that will be today's update. However, personally, I've decided I'm not gonna be doing the refresh. In fact, what I'm gonna be doing is adding a new product into this project because you can have anywhere between three and six products to focus on. So I'm bringing it up to the six product maximum because I've been using only five products so far. And although I don't wanna overwhelm myself, I'm feeling ready to integrate another product into this project. And the reason why I'm gonna be bringing in a sixth product is because I really want to embrace the idea that Haley had, and she talked about it in her introduction. I did speak about it in my last update as well, but she's gonna have three products that she's trying to finish up in this project, and then three products that she's just gonna have a usage goal on. And so I just wanna bring it up to that maximum so that I can maximize the amount of products that I am getting usage on as well. And I just think that that's gonna work out so well for me, a really great balance between using up items and actually just making sure I'm rotating through my collection and getting to know some products better in my collection. So I am gonna be rolling one additional item into this project today to bring it up to that six maximum. And I am so excited for it. I, for a while there, I was feeling like it could be a bit overwhelming, but really what is one more product, especially when it's just a usage goal. So let's get on into it. Why don't we talk about the products that are a little bit more long haul. These are the products that I'm trying to use up in their entirety. So the first product I have here is a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This is in the shade Crimper. This is so freaking old at this point and I am so ready for it to be gone and out of my collection. This is a soft gold color and it definitely is starting to get a little bit more crumbly just seeing as there's less product to adhere to. It definitely is starting to get a little bit softer and drier, but I did add a tiny bit of face oil. I was using the Ordinary Squalane one night when I was doing my skincare routine and I thought, ah, I'll just add a tiny little bit of that into here and I mixed it up and it seems to be much better than it was um, just about a week ago. It's a beautiful metallic. It does have some chunky kind of glitter in it. I wouldn't say glitter, but it definitely has some more apparent, chunky, more textured kind of metallic but it is really, really pretty. I've been using this primarily as an eyeshadow, seeing as that's what it actually is, but I have been wearing it on the top of my cheekbones on occasion as well. And although I don't love it that way, it is a good way to get some good use out of it, and I feel like on camera, it just makes my highlight look that much more apparent, and it doesn't look so, so textured when it's on the face, especially from a distance, and Nobody sees me up close anyways, like nobody in real life even sees me that close up. So today I am wearing it with a like more golden kind of highlighter below it, a powder highlighter. And then I put this on top just to add a, like a little bit of more intensity towards the temples he here. I wouldn't say it's an absolute favorite in that sort of way, but I do like the way that it looks and I'm really enjoying getting usage out of this product. I do think this is gonna take me a couple more months to get use out of because I thought it was gonna be like maybe a two month kind of product and now we're into the third month of this year and I'm still reaching for it and still trying to get it used up. So I foresee this being something that may take me through until maybe like the May update. I don't know, perhaps I can just try to power through it you know what, one way that I haven't yet used it is underneath of my foundation. Maybe I will try it like that, actually, this coming month, and that may be a good way to get some more like volume of usage out of it because I can really apply it to like across my entire nose, onto my chin, up above my brows, and then onto the um, high points of my cheekbones. Maybe it'll work like that, maybe it'll be a disaster, but it's worth a shot. You know what, I'm gonna try it out like that. And then the next product that I have here is also by ColourPop and it looks 
the same as that eyeshadow, but it's not. It is a depotted ColourPop Luxe lipstick in the shade Tiptoe. And I have depotted it so that I can utilize it more so as a cream blush. However, today I'm wearing it as a cream blush and as a lipstick. I do have a lip gloss on top of it, but there seems to be like an endless amount of product in here. It does not seem to be diminishing at all. There still is quite a bit in here. And like, it doesn't look like that much product at all, but I really don't need that much when I wear it as a blush or as a lipstick. It's very, very little. Like, I'll just kind of tap my finger in like this and that much product is what I use on my whole cheek. Yeah, that tiny little amount, that's plenty for one cheek and then I'll just do the same thing on the other cheek and on occasion I wear this as a lipstick, but now that it's in this kind of format, I just find I prefer to use it as a blush now. And because I don't really reapply my blush throughout the day, this is slower going than I had originally anticipated, especially considering this is just that like extra bit of lipstick inside the bullet where you can't access it, like just pop it onto your lips anymore. So I thought this was gonna just be something I flew through. I didn't think this was gonna take me very long, but I said in my last update, I absolutely love it. I think it's such a treat to reach for this and I really do enjoy the way that it looks. So I'm not upset about it. I just, I legitimately did not think it was gonna take me this long, but I am enjoying it and I'm really happy to be reaching for it and getting every freaking last use out of it because this is a discontinued lipstick, unfortunately. And it's so pretty, like look at that color. It's so good. The last product, the third product that I'm trying to actually use up is this one by Catrice. This is the Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. I have mine in the shade Light Natural 05. I finally, finally remember that the number is on the top. And I thought this was gonna be something I flew through a little bit faster than I have been as well because when I rolled it into this project, it was already here. And quite honestly, I don't think I had used it that that much. It was something that I had used maybe a dozen times in the entirety of owning this product, probably even less than that. And so I was like, ah, I'm gonna fly through it, but it must have just not been like a totally full tube when I first got it in my life. So last update, I was down to here, and this update, I haven't yet marked it, but I think I'm down about here. It hasn't really totally settled since I did my makeup this morning, but it doesn't really look like it's gonna settle either. So you know what, I'm just probably gonna mark it there anyway. I had to remark these because they were kind of coming off, so now they're purple marks, but yeah, I think that's about right. It could be a little bit farther down, could be a little bit higher than that, but that's where I'm at about now. Perhaps next update I can have this done, but I don't know, I just don't know. Everything seems to be going slower than I was expecting, not in a bad way, just I didn't really anticipate being committed to this product for like three or more months. I just didn't foresee this playing out this way. But that's okay, I've been using this a lot as an eyeshadow primer, that's how I'm wearing it today, that's wh where I'm wearing it most often, and so it really isn't that much product that I'm putting down, so I really should expect that it's going to be something that I have to use quite often if I'm using it in such a small amount. But I have been really enjoying reaching for it and just seeing the progress happen. That's been the most valuable part of this experience for me with this product because I don't think it's a great product by any means. I've been mixing it with other concealers. Sometimes I mix it with base products just to lighten them up because this shade is a little bit too light for my personal preferences. But yeah, slow going, but going nevertheless. Every single month I'm seeing progress and I'm happy about that for sure. So I'm gonna keep trucking along with that one. There are currently two products in this project that are usage based, but like I said, I will be rolling something new in. And the first one here is the Milk Makeup Cream Bronzer. I have this in the shade Baked. This is not called the Cream Bronzer, this is called the Matte Bronzer. I have this in the shade Baked. This is the lightest of the only two shades that the brand has. So as much as I do enjoy this, and I speak to this very highly in terms of my own personal experience with it, because I do already own it, I don't necessarily think that this is something that I would recommend just because the shade range is so limited and it's definitely not gonna work for a lot of people. So it does work very well for me. It's something that I really do get a lot of enjoyment out of and I love reaching for it, but I don't necessarily think that you need it by any means. I'm sure there's other bronzers out there that cater to many more skin tones and could probably work better for a better range of people. 
That's just as an aside, but I've set myself a usage goal of 50 uses in this product. I did roll this in in the introduction of this product project and last update I had used it 16 times. Today, I'm really happy to say that I've used it an additional 18 times, which brings me up to 34 of my 50 uses. And that would mean that I have 16 uses left. 16? 16 uses left on this product, yes. So I'm right on par with actually being able to roll this out of this project next update, which is great as long as I use it as much as I have in last month and this month we're golden. We'll be able to get this rolled out for the next update, which is fabulous. And I did say in the introduction, I didn't make a note of it last update, I believe, but I had said that I hadn't even yet like twisted this product up. And after 34 uses in this project, I have still not had to twist it up. So you can see there still is a lot of product that's still accessible without having scrolled it up at all. And within that next 16 uses, I'm probably not going to have to twist this up either, which is just bonkers. So who knows how much product is actually inside of this product. I'm sure 50 uses really, well, I can see 50 uses isn't going to make a huge dent in it, but thank goodness I set myself that high goal because I do feel like I'm getting my money's worth out of this. And I do feel like this is something I really have gotten to know through this project as well. And I do thoroughly enjoy it. I love the way it looks on my skin. I'm wearing it today. It's the only bronzer I'm wearing today. And it can look a touch orange, but I kind of like like orange bronzers. Like I don't want my bronzer to look just brown. I kind of want it to look a little orange. And I know that's not the general consensus, but I don't know. That's, that's my personal taste. I like that warmth there, but my skin is also very warm. So perhaps on other people that have more of a cool tone undertone, this might just be too stark to apparent. But for me, this really suits my personal taste. I can really build it up and get more of an intense bronze if I want, or like today, I kind of just sheared it out a little bit more and I just, I love it. It's been an absolute treat to reach for. I've enjoyed it every single moment of reaching for it. And somebody did say in the introduction that they like using this in their crease and I hadn't tried it out until very, very recently. But my goodness, this formula actually sets down nicely. Even though I have hooded oily lids, this still sets down well enough that I can actually wear it as like a transition shade on my eyes and it's fabulous. It's really great for that. I would love to see them expand this shade range and just create this exact same formula in a multitude of shades. That would be ideal. And then I'd recommend it after that. But for now, I'm enjoying it since I already own it. And then the last product that's currently in this project, I rolled in last update. Last update, I set myself a usage goal on this product as well. This is the Berry M High Vis Eyeliner in Strobe Light. This I had just received from Look Fantastic. I think I had worn it for the first time when I rolled it into this project. And I set myself a usage goal of eight times and I thought, okay, that doesn't seem like that many, but at the same time, it was two times a week for a month. And so I have actually successfully already reached that goal. I'm so thrilled about that and I'm kind of burnt out on this color already after eight uses, but this is a beautiful formula. So it was a treat to actually reach for it and play with it. I've never had such a vibrant color like this in my collection. So I'm really thankful to Look Fantastic for sending this my way. It was so, so much fun. I will share with you some looks that I did create over this past month. I don't think I took a picture of all eight looks, but I use this as an eyeshadow base. I've used this as an eyeliner on my lid. I've used it as an eyeliner on my lower lash line and as a liner in my waterline. And it's been a treat. It has been fun, but I definitely was getting a little bit over seeing this bright green in my waterline. However, I tried to play with it in many different contexts and it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun, but I'm happy. I'm gonna be rolling it out of this project. Actually, I should probably do a little swatchy here. And you can see there, it's just a beautiful, vibrant shade. And even though it is so vibrant, I feel like it was very, very versatile. But like I said, I'm a little burnt out just because I was using it so, so frequently over this past month. But I gotta say, this is a really great formula. And I know Berry M is not super accessible here in Canada, and I'm not sure about in the States, but Look Fantastic does offer it. That is something, if you're interested in trying more from this brand, that is something to keep in mind. I do think that that's really cool because I've always been kind of curious about the brand, but haven't really been able to access them here as a Canadian. So that's really cool. And 
yeah, this is really long wearing. I'll show you a picture of the most recent look, like my eighth time that I wore this. After about seven hours, it's definitely gone out of my waterline, but it kind of still lives almost like, you know, in between your lashes kind of, and it still looks so vibrant. I'll share with you that picture now so you can really see. Even after many hours of wear, and I was out in the sun, my eyes were watering, it was just like, it didn't really stand a chance and yet it stood up amazingly. So it's a really great formula, a really beautiful color and it's been so, so much fun, but I am happy to be rolling it out and now we will be rolling in something to replace that as well as an additional product is gonna be coming in with a usage goal as well. And um, I don't really think I've like established my usage goals, but I picked out both the products. So why don't we just talk about those now? So the first item I'm gonna be rolling into this project is actually currently in my shop, my stash. And the more I think about it, the more I just want to use it more and I kind of force myself to use it through a project pan because sometimes things that are in my shop, my stash, they just kind of get overlooked and I don't really utilize them in the way and in the capacity that I want to. So I'm going to be rolling this in to really, really try it out and really play with it and really amp up my usage and ensure that it's something that I'm getting used. So this is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil. This is in the shade Brink. It's a kind of rosy nude for me kind of shade. And I just think this is so, so versatile. This is the kind of lip pencil that can go with so many different products in my collection. And honestly, I do enjoy using lip pencils, but whenever they're in a project pan is really the only time that I actually, actually utilize them. Otherwise, it's just an extra step that I'm like, eh, I can pass that, whatever. But if I put this into this project, I'll make sure that I'm actually getting some serious use out of it. And as you can see, it'll pair really nicely with that, well now cream blush, with that Luxe lipstick shade. And I just think that it's something that I can use all the time. I am going to set myself a goal with this. Now, because it's something that I can use with so many different lip products, I do want to set myself maybe a bit more of a steep goal with this product. Because eight times with the eyeliner was definitely, I think, sufficient because of the nature of the kind of color and formula and how new it was to my collection but this is older to my collection and this is something that is something I can use very very often and I can even like reapply it and that kind of thing so what are we gonna do should I amp it up to more like 20 times and that way I probably won't be able to fly through it in a month but possibly I could really persevere and try to use it within a month um <sighs> yeah, I'm going to set it as 20, 20 uses. I don't think I can finish that by my next update, but I'm totally cool with that. I want to be able to use other lip products that aren't nudes, but I'm going to try to use this 20 times in this project. I don't see that being too much of a challenge, but I think that that is really good. And that's something that I'll actually be able to see some wear on this product, but also just really make sure that I'm actually using it instead of just thinking about using it or thinking it's something that works really well with so many lip products. Maybe I can really put it to the test and see if it really is as versatile as in my mind, I kind of work it up to be. But that, yeah, 20 uses. We're gonna go with 20 uses. And then this next product I have used one time ever on my face. And I've had this since I think last September. That's so bad. This is the Ciate Dewy Blush Glossy Cheek Tint. This I have in the shade Coconut. I did receive this from Look Fantastic back in the fall of last year. I used it in a first impressions video and then I completely, completely forgot about it being a part of my collection, completely forgot about trying it again, getting to know this formula more. It just has fallen off my radar entirely and that is just so, so disappointing. And even though this is gonna be hard to use in combination with, or this seems like it'll be more of a challenge to use it in combination with this product since I'm using this as a cream blush as well, I think these actually will pair really nicely. Like I may be able to layer these products and use them in tandem with one another. And so I think that this is something that I really want to roll into this project and bring up to the forefront again. And really, I want to, better understand if this is something I like or not because honestly in that first impressions video I recall being kind of like taken aback and didn't really expect it to be the formula that it was but other than that I really don't know about anything 
like anything related to this product. So it's like a, like, yeah, dewy kind of cr like liquid, more so of a liquid. And it's kind of like a balm, you can see here. And I've been tempted by the idea of those new ColourPop blushes. And I think this is virtually the same thing. And I'm not planning on buying one of those ColourPop blushes, but they've kind of creeped their way into the back of my mind as something exciting and new and fun. And I have something very, very similar to it already in my own collection. So I really want to just play with this. And so I want to set myself kind of more of a steep goal with this product as well, seeing as it's a complexion product and I haven't used it at all. Like <laughs> I really haven't used it enough. So I want to set myself a goal of using this. Um, you know what, I'm going to do 20 times as well, because I think beyond that I might get a little bit burnt out by it, but I think 20 times is going to be really good. That means I can play with it a handful of times this month, next month, and maybe even into the third month. And I think it'll pair really nicely with this ColourPop product, but I am going to be prioritizing this one, seeing as I want to get this one actually used up sooner than later. So 20 uses on both of the new roll-ins to this project and the other product that has usage, I need to use this 16 more times. I think I can actually do that in the next month. So I have a fair amount of uses on all of these products and then three additional products to use up. I think this is great. I'm actually feeling really happy about the state of this project pan and looking forward to rolling new things into this project, but I do feel like I'm gonna really be able to get to know items in my collection and get to use up items in my collection with the status of this project at this moment. So that is gonna be everything for this update. I cannot wait to go and watch other people's updates. Definitely go check out the playlist linked down in the description box if you enjoyed this project because there's so many other creators creating this exact type of content, but with their own collections and their own perspectives. And I just find that so inspiring and so exciting. There's also a hashtag, which is partners in cream 2021. If you want to check this project out on Instagram and definitely just check out everybody, everybody, everything that's linked down in the description box, get on it, go, go check it out. So that's going to be everything for today's video. I'm getting in such a rambly mood. Thank you so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.